Well, hi everybody. Today we have an Antifa sleeping bag. It's a mummy bag. Three season bag. According to the bottom, it's called a Compact 1000. At least I assume that's what the name is. Comes in a pretty nice stuff sack. Stuff sack is uh, strapping on thing goes completely across the bottom here. It's on the inside of this thing, but it goes across the bottom. It does have a handle here for the grab handle to pull the bag out of it. The nice thing about having this go all the way across the bottom in here, this these straps is when you cinch down on this thing, which you can cinch down and get this thing down to about the size of a softball, or a, a not softball, but a, a volleyball or a soccer ball. It, it does squish down quite nicely. So when you're sucking down on this thing, you're not going to tear the bottom out. I do have an expensive bag where it's sewed to the bottom here, and it's already started tearing it out, which means I'll be getting new new bags for those those two sleeping bags. This one here, not so. This is nice, very well, very well put together. Let me pull it out of the bag here for you. This is a fairly nice looking bag. As with most uh, of these type of bags, let me adjust this down so you can see the bag. You don't want to see me. As with most of these mummy bags, they, they have the traditional things of the little clip box on the bottom, zip down one side. They have a uh, cover on the zip up in the upper area, pockets inside, uh, a hood on it with cords to pull on it and this cord wraps and comes around the complete hood here. Okay, it goes around here and so when you pull this in, cinch this thing up. You're cinching it up pretty tight. It's a nice little hole there. Zipper on both ends. Get a zipper down here where we can unzip this thing. Zip it back. Create some ventilation here under this cover here. It has a zipper with pulls on both ends, inside and out. Pretty normal. You see that normal standard on it. See, it zips pretty good. It does have, it does hang up occasionally, like right now. It does hang up occasionally. My fault. I pulled it, pulled it out because this will open up and can be used as a as a double bag. But it's pretty nice. Most bags I have don't don't do that. They hang up. Bag here has a little bolster built inside for keep the uh, trap the air and keep the air infiltration. size pocket, very generous pocket here. It's a secure pocket, it has a Velcro tab on it. You get your whole hand in there and spread it out pretty good. You can put your phone in there and camera, whatever you want in there. Batteries, keep them warm at night. It also has something here that I have no idea what it is. It's got this Velcroed on of material. Not quite sure what it is. I mean, I can speak it like I'm sure most of you folks will too. Uh, you all know, speculate as to what it is. I personally think it's probably there for when you lay your head on it. You can take this thing out and wash this thing real night really easily and get it clean. It also doubles having to put your head underneath here. You have your hole here, your head inside. It's a cold night. Put your head on there, it'll cover everything but your eyes. Keep your face warm. I'll read the specs to you on this thing. And the specs here, um, I have to copy them down. There's no way I'm going to memorize these things. 
Specs are done in kind of a strange fashion. They have uh, its temperature range, comfort, comfort range for females, 10 degrees Fahrenheit, or 10 degrees Celsius rather, it's 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And for males, it's 5 degrees uh, Celsius and 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Why they would do that, a male and female one, I have no idea, but it's, it's here, first time I've ever seen it. The extreme low is 0 degrees uh, uh, Celsius and uh, 32 degrees, which is freezing, uh, in Fahrenheit. Um, the product is made of a 210T ripstop, and it is a ripstop, there's no doubt about it, which is nice. Um, inside is a 230T peach skin. What is peach skin? Who knows, but it does feel like a peach. It is real comfortable and real soft. Uh, it has a 100% uh, polyester soft loft uh, uh, um, insulation in it. And uh, it is uh, measure, measures out at 86, 84.6 inches long. At the, at the shoulders, it's uh, 29 and a half inches, which is a little narrow uh, for, for, for a sleeping bag, but the individual is gonna get this. I think it's gonna fit him well. Uh, it's 19.7 inches at the feet. It does have this foot box. The nice thing about having an actual true foot box is you don't have cramped feet. I mean, we've all seen the ones where they just sew them straight across and your feet are cramped in here and it just rubs on your toes all night. It drives me nuts. Because I have the foot box, you can also take it, unzip this thing, and use it as a uh, top coat in a hammock, which is where I spend most of my time camping in a hammock. Um, so it would make a nice box. Nice uh, bag for that purpose. Comfortable. I took it out and sat in the bag uh, out in the backyard here the other night. I'm in Southern California, and it doesn't get real cold here, so you know I could probably use this thing as a four-season bag with the help of uh, uh, my snug pack uh, jungle jungle uh, blanket. But uh, it uh, it's 44 degrees what I got to, coldest I could get when I got it only a couple days ago. We've had some pretty nice weather re recently, but uh, at 44 degrees, that was real comfortable. And I felt like I had a, a good 8 to 10 degrees more. I could have probably gone and felt okay. Um, anything beyond, below that would have been a little tough for me. Um, and of course, as we all know, we all have different comfort levels. Uh, I sleep uh, probably mid-range. Uh, not cold, but not hot. Uh, maybe just a slight bit to the cold side. I know some people who sleep cold, others who sleep hot. Um, and that's going to dictate what you want. This bag here, though, is available at Amazon. Um, it is one of a number of uh, bags I was given from various suppliers to uh, review. I did my, my uh, written reviews for them, which is what they, my obligation was, but I felt, felt that I wanted to share these with you people so you get a chance to even look at them. I'm no uh, expert on sleeping bags, no doubt about that, I just, but I do know what's comfortable and what's not. I know what I like and what I don't like, and I felt like I uh, would share this with you because uh, it's something I think uh, that helps when you want to go out and buy them. This bag, if you want a bag like this, you've got that right about 30 inches across here. Um, if that's a problem for you, if you're wide-shouldered, this may not be for you. Uh, if you're average-shouldered or narrow, this would be great for you. This would be wonderful for women. A lot of women would, would uh, work real, fit real well in this. Um, this is going to a friend of my daughter's. Uh, Grant, you know that uh, this is your bag. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm going to post the, uh, at the end of this video, I will also post the spec sheet here so you can actually get a good look at it and read it. Uh, pause the, the video if you want to, to see it. Um, I'll leave it up for a few seconds, uh, probably about eight, ten seconds what the what my thing will let me do. And just look at it. If uh, you know if it's what you want then I'll leave a link below. I get nothing for any of this. The link is there just because I want you to be able to get to what I what I'm showing you. Um, I got the bag out of it. That's what I got. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, I want to thank you for watching. I hope this helps. Uh, if anybody knows what that piece of that piece of cloth up inside there is about, let me know. I'd like to. I'd like to know. Um, I, I have no clue. I'm just speculating, and that's what I think it probably is for. But somebody out there might know. Anyways, thanks a lot.